thank you for letting me come over. Well, don't be silly. No, I, I was afraid after all the arguments we had about you marrying Adam that you would never speak to me again. I don't think I could stop talking to you. Oh, good. Because you're the best friend I ever had, and I, I can't lose you. And that's why I came over today. To tell you that I've decided not to argue with you anymore about what you decided to do about marrying Adam. Does I that mean you accept it? You will get no more arguments out of me. Thank you. Now, I want you to have the man who's going to make you happy. Really, I do. As a matter of fact, I want to make your life more pleasant all around, which brings me to the second reason I'm here. Which is? Well, how does a drive in the country on a gorgeous summer day strike you? Oh, Donna, I don't know. I have so much work I should be doing. I, 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 I think relaxation. Think a long, leisurely lunch at a fabulous country inn. Brilliant company. A treat from a friend who wants to say I'm sorry. Well, really, we could have a nice long talk. And, uh, actually, I, I gotta go there anyway. Why? Oh, you know me. This time, it's my favorite earrings. I could not remember what I did with them. Finally, I remembered the last time I had them on was on my honeymoon, so I got to drive up there. Well, I don't know. The thought of it... Is um, enticing. Very. Good, because, see, plus, I wanted to try to sell you on the place for you and, the, and your groom. Evergreen Lodge is a very popular honeymoon getaway, so you could check it out. I could, couldn't I? Yeah. Does that mean you'll go? It's a deal. Ah, oh, wonderful! Hello, everybody. Oh, Adam. Donna has just had the most marvelous idea. Go up to Evergreen Lodge for lunch. Why don't you join us? It's the summer's friendliest comedy. News is always welcome. Isn't it? It's nice to know my best friend is behind us in our engagement. Yeah. I wish you both all the happiness in the world. Thank you, Donna. And going up to, to Evergreen Lodge is a terrific idea. I think it sounds heavenly for a honeymoon. Oh, yes, indeed it does. And I certainly want to check it out. But unfortunately, I'm not free to go up there today. Oh, no. It'll be so much nicer if you come. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry, can't be helped. Yeah, well, are you sure now you can't come? Uh, you're positive. We've got a lot of uh, very important phone calls to make and, and a checkup at the hospital that I've already postponed several times. Oh, that's too bad. You really would have loved the place. Well, thank you for the thought. Why don't the two of you go up together without me and make a day of it? And if, if you like it, make us a reservation. I understand they get booked very quickly. Well, uh, it's kind of tough to make a honeymoon reservation unless you've set a date for the wedding, which you haven't done, have you? Good point. Why don't we do that right now? Now? Yes. Why not? Right now. We're all, we're all in the mood for it. Thanks to Donna here. And there's no reason to delay any longer. No, I guess not. No. Uh, all right. Well, let me take a look at the calendar. Um, there. Ah, it's Let's September go. 12th. It looks wonderful. Except September 8th looks even better. Well, I guess I'm free. Ha! <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Gosh, I never realized that my coming over here would start things moving along the way it did. <laughs> Thank you for it. I really do. Anytime. Hot Tub has its own phone hookup. If you choose not to use it, simply press the button at the bottom, and coming calls will be routed through the main desk. Now, all the phones have that feature. Yes, they all do. Uh, we try never to disturb our guests, unless their request call be put through. Excellent. Fireplaces are all stocked, ready to go. Uh, should you require more wood, there's a supply right outside this door. Well, do you love it? I love it. I do love it. Actually, would it be available the weekend of the 8th of September? Uh, I'll have to check with reservations in the main lodge. Do you follow me? Mm -hmm. uh, you guys go on. I just want to wander around and remember my honeymoon a little bit. Sure. Take your time. Sentimental fool, you. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dylan, here. What can I do you for? Uh, Trevor, hi. It's Donna. 
so. I know, I know. I'm not your favorite person right now. Bingo. Well, now, wait a minute, but this is serious. I really need your help. Uh, see, I'm up at the Evergreen Lodge. You remember that's where Chuck and I had our honeymoon? Well, I left my favorite earrings here. Yeah, so? Yeah, well, I finally remembered where I left them, and I came up here to get them. Does this story have a point, doll? Yes, 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 it does. See, I kind of let myself in, and while well, I was looking around for my earrings, and, and one of the maids came in, she thought I was stealing something, and now they, they, they're accusing me of petty theft, and they want to have me arrested, and I... I can't even tell Chuck about these missing earrings, because he doesn't know they're missing, and, and he'd be heartbroken, because it's like a family heirloom. Oh, brother. So anyway, I thought, since you're a policeman, and all of you could vouch for me, they'd, they'd believe my story. Yeah, okay, um... Look, look, I, I have a friend named Ray Dugan. He's from Deer Fork. No, 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 Whoa, whoa, you don't understand. This is real. They really do not believe my story. I got to prove that I am who I say I am. I'm from where I say okay, I'm okay, from. Okay, okay, I'll come you... over. I'll, I'll, I'll be there. Where are you? You will? You will come? Yeah. Yeah, oh, great. I, I'm at the Evergreen Lodge, cabin 21. They won't even let me out of the cabin. They're so uptight. Yeah, okay, I'm coming, all right? Oh, great. Thanks a bunch, Trevor. You owe me big time, doll. I do owe you big time. Bye. <laughs> Not bad, doodles. So far, so good. Oh, you are still here. I was beginning oh. to get worried. Oh, yeah, I just... Just looking around for my earrings. I can't believe I was such a dick leaving them here in the first place. They probably walked off by now. Oh, did you check with housekeeping? The maid. Of course, the first thing I should have thought of. That's what I'll do now. Would you uh, mind hanging here for a little while? I won't be long. No, it's fine with me. I'll look for your earrings while, while you go. Great, on. you're a pal. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Bye. If you didn't know, is there nothing you won't do to harass me? Harass? Major ego trip here. Why would I spend one minute with you, never mind harass you? Because you're a sadistic, lowbrow bully who gets his oh, kids out of the Oh, here we go, rock and roll. Me. You miss oh, our being together, ball, don't you? Low life. You obviously do miss it. Otherwise, you wouldn't have gone to all this trouble to get Donna to call me to get up here. I know what it is. You want to see me one last time before old Grandpa Chandler gets his mitts on you. I never did any such thing. Are you nuts? <laughs> well, you had one of your little cop buddies follow me. Is that how you knew where I was? You think I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Exactly why are you up here? I am here to see the cabin and to have lunch with Donna. At Donna's and... request, right? Yes. And she cooked up some cockamamie story that she was going to be charged with petty larceny. What? She set us up, doll. She did it again. <laughs> that wacko. That sweet, romantic wacko. She hasn't given up on us yet. Oh, well, I... I have. And she's certainly going to hear me. Sweetheart, she went through a lot of trouble to set this up. Maybe she's not wacko. Maybe she knows exactly what's what. What? To be locked in a room and not to be able to get out until we settle our misunderstanding. Misunderstandings? Mm -hmm. Ha! And we certainly don't need to be anywhere to get... Oh, would you look at this? Look at what we're doing. I disagree. We're just going to... I disagree. We're just going to stand here and call each other names until one of us slams out the door. And this is what happens. Every time we talk, we end up getting vicious. Well, maybe we shouldn't talk. Maybe we don't need words. Trevor. 